We did get a little taste of this yesterday morning. Mm -hmm. There was some snow on the ground, but it was really the first of the year right. driving on snow. More in the forecast. The mission now on to keep everyone at home safe. And Sunrise reporter Matt McCutcheon is live now with the plan from DPW. Matt, good morning. Naomi, good morning. Of course, we all want to make sure we are warm and safe as well when it comes to getting out on the roads to do that last minute Christmas shopping, perhaps. But of course, the concern is making sure those roads will be safe. And of course, you can see right behind me, we've got the salt truck with salt. And Jennifer with DPW joins us this morning. Good morning to you. Morning. Things are actually quiet in here right now, but that's going to change a little later. That's correct. Well, DPW is going to go ahead and activate 73 drivers beginning at 11 p.m. tonight. They'll be working through those overnight hours, making sure residents stay safe. Going into Sunday morning at 11 a.m. when we go ahead and activate another 73 drivers as residents take on more activities throughout their weekend. And of course, we also have our concern about the Sunday and Monday commutes as well. And to that end, what will DPW be doing? Well, DPW will have a presence all throughout the day on Sunday, especially while residents are out there enjoying the Colts game, all different kinds of activities. But no matter, because DPW is prepared, we're ready for the winter season. And how are you prepared? because I know we'd look at last winter, for example, we didn't have nearly as much snow as we did back in 2014, which was really brutal. How are supplies and resources doing? Well, DPW is fully stacked. All of our barns are ready to go. We have over 18,000 tons of salt ready to go in all of our barns. All of our vehicles are ready. We prepare dry runs as early as October to make sure our vehicles are ready for the winter. We're ready. Naomi mentioned this yesterday was kind of the first taste of us driving right this year on snow. What are some tips for drivers as well who will be out and about and will also come in contact perhaps with some of these DPW trucks? Absolutely. We just want residents to take it easy out there. As they're headed to and from school or work or places that they need to be, just give yourself some extra time getting to and from the places you need to go. Also make sure your vehicle is winter ready. Just make sure you have that emergency road kit in your vehicle and anything that you need to do just to take it extra, extra carefully out there. All right, Jennifer, thanks so much for joining us as well. Make sure you allow plenty of extra space between your Yourself and these salt trucks because there are a lot of things that happen coming in and out of these trucks as well. So you want to allow plenty of room if you do come in contact with a salt truck from different municipalities around the area as everyone works to make sure that the roads will be safe for your commute all weekend long and of course on Monday morning. Naomi. All right. More to come. Matt McCutcheon, thank you so much.